I know you've probably heard this before because, you know, it probably sounds cliche at this point, but every single day is an opportunity for you to change your life in some way, whether that's working out, starting to eat healthier, or maybe just changing the direction you want to go in life, right? Every day is a new opportunity. And also every year is a new opportunity to become a better version of yourself. You know, last year you probably did not do anything at all, right? Maybe last year you just didn't make any type of progress towards your life in general. You probably feel like you were stuck the whole entire year. You probably did not do anything that was towards bettering your life in some way or towards, you know, striving to accomplish these goals that you had in mind in the beginning of the year. But it doesn't mean that this year has to be the same thing. Just because last year was a horrible year for you in some way, that doesn't mean that you have to carry on all that energy into this new year that we have, right? Every new year is an opportunity to do something different, right? To do something different with your life and to do something that, you know, can change your life in some different way to, you know, stop going to, you know, doing the same thing every single time. And so you just change the trajectory of your life so that you can live a better life, a more meaningful, a life that you actually enjoy living. And so I want you to have the best year of your life this year, 2023. I want you to have the best year. I want you to, you know, once it hits December 31st, 2023, I want you to look back at this year and just be like, damn, I actually did something this year. I actually made progress. I, I lost some weight. I gained some muscle. You know, I got that, you know, I got that relationship or, you know, I got that job or, you know, I got that, you know, I got all these things that I wanted. Whatever it is that you desire, right? Whatever it is that you want this year that will make it feel like it was a accomplished year, I want that to happen to you. One of the things that I want y'all to do this year, one of the things that if you do this, this year will be one of the best years of your life. It will be one of those years that, you know, you know how sometimes there's be memes, like, you know, some people will be mentioning that 2016 was like a a good year for everyone in the world and I, I still remember 2016 like 2016 you know it's, I have a lot of memories of it but you know it's going to be one of those years for you 2023 is going to be one of those years where you will remember and you will actually be proud of the whole thing that you did throughout the entire year one of the things that I want you to do is to not let fear of you you know of a certainty of, of a failure of you know other people's judgments I don't want you to let that fear stop you from doing what you want to do you probably wanted to do something last year that you just didn't do because one of those things that i just mentioned fear of failure fear of uncertainty or fear of other people's judgments and so in order to make this year the best year of your life in order to make this year the year that you will actually remember i want you to do the things that you fear that you fear of uncertainty you you have that fear of failure and you have that fear of judgments of other people's judgments on what they think about what it is that you're going to do I want you to do it regardless of those three things. You probably feared uncertainty, which means you stayed in your comfort zone. You probably feared failure, which also means that you stayed in your comfort zone and you just didn't try anything new because you were just scared of failing and you were just gonna, you know, scared to be, you know, embarrassed, which leads on to number three, which is you probably feared other people's judgments about you or what it is that you're doing. And so because you feared one of those three things, that led on to the rest, right? Because if you feared uncertainty, then that means you stayed in your comfort zone, which means that you also feared failure. And if you fear failure, that also means that you also, you know, care a lot about what other people think, which is why you fear failure so much because you fear also being embarrassed. You feel being embarrassed of trying that thing and failing in front of everybody. And now everybody knows that you failed and now you got to go back to that job or you got to do that one thing that you didn't want to do at one point. But now people are looking at you and they know that you failed your goals or whatever. You feared one of those three things. And that's one of the reasons why you didn't make last year one of the best years of your life. You probably didn't make that move. You didn't take that leap of faith because of that. And I'm also taking this with myself as well. Like I'm not only saying this just to say it. Like I'm also taking this advice that I'm giving out to my own life as well. Like I'm also going to be, you know, last year I did do things that, you know, like for example, like this channel right here, like I actually started it, you know, a while back, but I actually started uploading consistently even before 2021, like, like a month before 2021, like when it was 22, I mean, not 20, yeah, no, 2022. I'm getting confused now with the years. Y'all yeah, know what I mean? Like even before 2022, like a month before it hit 2022, I started uploading consistently again. And, you know, these fears and, you know, these cer this fear of uncertainty and doubt, it came up and it still does sometimes, but it, I don't let it affect me because, you know, I have to do the things that I feel like I have to do. It's like one of those things like with me, you know, I'm one of those people that if I have an itch, like, you know what I mean? Like if I have an itch, I have to scratch it. YouTube is one of those things where, you know, I had, I had come back and then I, I left again. But this time I came back because I had this intuition. I had this thing. I had this like calling, like to come back on YouTube is to do something like this, right? And so even though there was 
uncertainty of doing this there was you know all this fear of judgments of other people what might what they might think i still ended up doing it because i wanted to do it because if i didn't do it then all i did at that point was let the fear stop me from doing it and i was not going to be happy with myself at the end of the year when i look back and be like damn i didn't upload i didn't even though i wanted to upload i didn't upload because you know, I let that fear of, you know, other people's judgments or I let that fear of, of uncertainty, I let that fear of, of whatever, failure or whatever, I let all of that stop me. And I didn't want to have that feeling during, you know, at this time, like right now. Like I, that's what I thought a year ago, like 2021, the last, like this December 2021, that's exactly what I was thinking. So I was like, no, I'm going to do it because, you know, I'm being called to do it and I just, I, I want to do it. I want to do it and I'm not going to let these fears stop me from doing it. And that's why right now, I'm not with that feeling or that thought of like, damn, what if I would have uploaded, you know, on YouTube or whatever? What if I would have continued to upload? I'm not with that because I done it. I did it already. I did it. I did what I said I wanted to do in the beginning of the year and I'm still doing it. And so that's what I want you to do. You want to start that channel or, you know, you want to, you know, change your career. You don't want to do the same thing over. You're bored with what you're doing. You hate what you do. Or you want to, you know, go to school or whatever. You want to, you know, switch careers in school. You want to switch a major or whatever. Or you want to just chase your dreams, you want to build that business, or you want to you know, start that side hustle, or you just want to chase everything, anything that you want to do in this in your life that you just haven't done because you let other people's you know judgment stop you. You've let the fear of failure stop you. You let the fear of uncertainty stop you. If you continue to live that life of letting those fears stop you from moving forward, you're not going to be happy with yourself every single year. You don't want to end up, you know, like being old. And just having a what if all the time, like just be thinking, what if I would have tried it? What if I would have done this? Like, you don't want to do that. And I preach that a lot, you know, in this channel, I preach that a lot. Like, you don't want to end up, you know, being old and just thinking what the all the possible things that you could have done in your life when you were a lot younger, when you had the energy to do it. And you had all this, you know, the resources that you have now. I mean, we're living in a world now where we have a lot more resources than people did back like 50 years ago. Like we have more resources. And so we have since we have more resources, we have more opportunities to make any type of dream that we have a reality. And so I just don't want you to be that person next year. I don't want you to look back, you know, by the end of, you know, December 2023 and just look back at the whole year and be like, damn, bro, what if I would have done that thing that I, I wanted to do in the beginning of the year? You know, you don't know what, you, what could have happened unless you try it. I also want you to not really care about what other people might think about you, you know, just not care about, you know, what dream you're chasing, whether you like, like whether you want to start a channel and you're just scared of what your friends or your family might say about you recording yourself, like they might laugh at you or whatever. Or I just don't want that to stop you from making this year the best possible year for you because it could potentially, be, it could potentially be the year where your life turns around, where your life, you know, makes that switch, makes that, you know, switch in direction. And you just become that version of you that you are proud of. It doesn't even have to be with YouTube, right? Or chasing your dreams. It could also be like starting to work out. Like you probably don't like the way your body looks. You probably are not as confident as you would want to be. So maybe it's like starting to go to the gym, like, or starting to work out, starting to eat healthier, you know, like anything that you want to do that you just have in mind. Like just think about, just sit down for a moment, sit down with me right now. And just think for a moment what it is that you actually want to do. That you, like your gut, like your intuitive feeling, like your heart. Like what it is that you want to do that you, you know, maybe have a passion for. Or you just want to try out to see how it goes. Like what it is that you want to do. And once you have the answer to that, do it this year. Regardless of whether there's, you have that fear of uncertainty, which everybody has. That fear of failure, which everybody, you know, has. That fear of other people's judgments, which everybody also has as well. Like having a fear is not a bad thing. It becomes a problem when you let that fear stop you from moving forward in your life. If you have all those fears, there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't let that stop you from doing the thing that you want to do this year to make it the best year possible and to become that version of you that you're proud of. So make sure you make this year the greatest year of your life. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this year, 2023, is gonna be a it's going to be a big year for all of us. I think that anybody who's watching this, you know, I don't know who you are, you know, I like personally wise, like, I don't know, but like whoever is watching this, like, I feel like this is going to be a big year for all of us, including myself. It's going to be a big year. And I really hope that all the dreams that you have, all the dreams that you have written down, which I hope that you have written down because, you know, it's actually been proven that people who write down their goals are 42% more likely to accomplish them than those who don't write them down. Any type of goal that you have in mind, make sure you write it down physically in a piece of paper or in a book, write it down with a pen and just write down all the goals that you have. And I hope that every single goal that you have, you make that a reality this year. So anyways, that's all I got to say. I'm out.